After arriving in the championship, Southampton are on the verge of being promoted out of it at the first attempt. A chance to complete back-to-back -back promotions to the Premier League after that seven-year absence. McDonald battling with Fonte, who should win that battle, gets tricked by McDonald, stays on his feet, into the centre circle, goes past two, he's got three men ahead of him, Fonte still going, getting towards the penalty area, then he lays it out wide to Gooley. Gooley from the edge of the box, early ball, Lallana on the body, deflects the turf and have the lead! Fox will take it into the penalty area as well. Fonte with a stooping header, it's 2 0! And surely now that is the goal that could send Saints back to the Premier League! Fox into the near post, might fall for Sharp, hits it on the turn block, rebound 3 0! Jos Hoyvelt celebrates with his arms aloft again! Both centre backs on the score sheet here on the final game of the season. I'm sure we weren't necessarily expecting that, we were all talking about Lambert and Sharp. As the long ball comes in for Ricky Lambert, nods it down, might for the back post for Lallana! And Adam Lallana has a 13th lucky for him this season! One minute of stoppage time left. The fans now trying to overrun. The referee blows his whistle and that is up! belief there um, and the infrastructure is there as well um, and we've uh, we're improving things at the training ground improving things here at the ground um, and I think that uh, the club's in a, in a fantastic position to, to move forward. It's a family club and you know it's um, a club that uh, has got great support and you feel that uh, you know there's uh, there's every chance that we can go on and uh, kick on. Obviously, we've got to the Premiership within within three years, which is a remarkable achievement. So I think it would be silly to, to stop building now. Obviously, the um, the training ground we've got plans for something quite magnificent there. The academy and, and the kids will have the best facilities for us as well to work in and, and to attract new players, which I'm sure uh, the club will want to do. Not many fans, not many football clubs who get 
uh, the vision and the desire of someone like Nicola. So the the day they come into the club, I think they've drove the club forward. The infrastructure, the training ground, the ground, it's 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 unbelievable and they're going for the very top. The ambition of the manager and like the staff and the chairman, I know that this club could be going in the right direction. You know, the project of this club is a, a project that everyone in football would like to be involved in. Seeing the the, the things that uh, this club would probably achieve and the person who was behind it, I had no doubt in my mind that this was the club to be and uh, I would be I would be successful in this club. It's the first time a spirit is like that in a, in a dressing room, it's absolutely unbelievable. In the morning when you come at the training ground, you're happy to, uh, to train, you're happy to see the lads. And, um, and yeah, well, that, that helps us to, uh, to, be stronger, to be stronger in the pitch and to, to perform well. We're going there without no fear, with full of confidence. That's two promotions on the spin, so who knows what can happen ne next year. When I was here, I was quite convinced that uh, this is the right step and uh, this is a big adventure for me and uh, I'm ready for it. I really like to be a team. 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 I've been here for 18 months now. I'm very proud to be the manager of Southampton, very honoured to be the manager of Southampton. I'm very privileged to, to go and lead a team out with the support that we've got. Our players work very, very hard and uh, they're looking forward to keeping their smiles on, that, on the supporters' faces. Since obviously the takeover, I mean the club is just, it's just going forward, it's just going up. Um, and obviously Nicola is pushing that dream forward. Um, to get back so quickly. I mean, everyone knows all the problems that we've had in the previous seven years. We've had seven tough years. Um, the last two or three, from a supporters side of it, has been fantastic because the team has been winning on a consistent basis. Nicola has shown that with hard work, hard work gets you success, and that's certainly what's happened. It's a different Southampton today. The supporters are still the same one, but what we have brought into the club the belief brought it back into the club, that's something real, that's, that's really there and we believe we can achieve what we have set out to be our vision. Here goes the champagne, Southampton are back in the big time.